Hey everyone, it's your trainer Sydney Howdeshell and this is your 45 minute full body challenge. So grab some dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to our full body workout today. I'm so pumped that you made it and I'm so excited to get into this one. It is a challenge workout. So each of our three rounds, I'll add the option for you to go a little bit more difficult, whether that be in terms of dumbbell weight or just adding a little twist onto each exercise. You have the option to take that challenge, but you also have the option to do the same exact exercise all three rounds, okay? The whole point here is progressive overload. So if you don't wanna do a chest press plus a glute bridge, just rock that chest press all three rounds, gradually getting maybe heavier or working a little harder through rounds two and then three as well. I've got some optional equipment out here. I know I've got a lot, but it's just optional. I pulled my jump rope out. I'm gonna use that a little bit just to get my heart rate up in the warm up. Water bottle and sweat towel as always. The sliders are there for a couple core exercises and then our glute bands will be here for a squat move. Chest press is what I'm gonna use my bench for. All of these things are optional though. All you need are dumbbells and we'll go ahead and jump right into the warm up. All right, so here we go. Heels to glutes, three, two, one, let's go. Good job, open your chest up, open your hips up. And if you wanna pull that jump rope out the last minute or so, I'm gonna just jump rope, get my mind right, get my body right. We're gonna start off with some strength moves, just straight strength. You'll see some combo moves today. You'll see some core moves. Good, twist. That's full body. And if you're doing this workout real time, today is a big day for Royal Change. We're starting our Black Friday sale today at noon Eastern time. So if you're doing this live on November 18th, 2022, make sure you check that out at noon Eastern, right? Wide stance, bend and push. Good job. Inner thigh stretching, bent leg is pushing. Good, get your arms involved. Chest, push back. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Hands down in front. Open your arms up to the sky and twist. Great job. Three, two, and one. Hands stay right where they are. You kick one leg back behind you. Let's take the hip up and down. Great job. Down, tap, lift up. Good. Three, two, and one. Lift and switch. Other leg. Let's roll up and down. Warm-ups are so crucial to making sure your body's ready to work hard, especially when we're working in strength moves as we get into our core and compound exercises. Exhale, two and one. Step both feet up nice and wide. Drop your hips, open the knees out wide. There we go, come on up. Three squats. Three arms cross right over your chest. There we go. You can open your chest nice and wide as you open, and then when you cross, round your back just a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop into just about 45 seconds of jump rope. Feel free to grab your rope or just jog in place. Let's just get our heart rate up just a little bit. Your first exercise that we're gonna do today is a chest press, okay? I'll give you the option to switch things up throughout with two arms together and then a rep and a half and then a pause rep, okay? But just make sure you're using weights that push you in all three rounds. That's the challenge today, that's it. Good job. Jogging in place, maybe some jumping jacks. You can go ahead and get your space set up. We're gonna start in just about 30 seconds with your chest press round number one. All right, 15 seconds and we'll go for it. If you're using the bench, pull it out. So thankful that you're here today. All right, round one of chest press. Pull up, 
full down. Let's go in three, two, one. All right. Here we go. 45 seconds right here. Great job. You're just about 30 seconds in. Give me 15 more really great seconds, and then I'll show you challenge option one for round number two. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. And if you want to look over at me, your challenge option number one is to go down, come halfway up, down again, and then all the way. So it's a rep and a half. All right, we're gonna go there in four. Three, two, one, and come on down, halfway. Down, all the way up. So you're spending a lot of time in this bent arm position. Great job, 30 seconds down, you've got 15 to go. Good, five seconds. Give me one more all the way through. Two, one, rest. And your last challenge option, if you look over at me really quick, come down, pause, one, two, and up, okay? Two second pause at the bottom. We go in four, three, two, and here we go. Nice, just think of coming down, load up, get ready, and punch, and spend a little less time at the top. Nice work, 14, 13. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on down to the floor now. On your hands and knees, we're going alternating bent rows, probably a similar weight. We're going right here, okay? So dumbbells down, let's go in four. Three, two, one, and we're off. Just left and then right. Nice work. Try not to lift your shoulder towards your ear. Keep everything back like you're pulling back towards your rib and hip area right here. Okay, not up here in your armpit. 15. Two, one, and rest. Challenge option number one, come up to a standing bent row, okay? Requires a little bit more of your back and your core. Keep your chest open, alternating again. Let's go, four, and you can stay on the ground if you need to. Two, one, let's go. You know how I feel, technique always comes first. So doing it well is the most important thing. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. And I don't want to mess with this one too much because your back muscles are so important. But we're going to step it out to the side that you're rowing to. Okay, so you're here. Row, row. Tap row, 
Okay, so go to the left when you row to the left. Just an option. Ready? Let's go. Let's get your core involved a little bit more for me. Potentially gives you a chance to add in more reps since when you get over there, the dumbbell will be moving, so you're more likely to just pull it right back. There you go. Let's go, seven, six, come on. Four, three, two, one. And you've got 30 seconds to rest, grab water. We're moving into some combo moves now. All right, we've got a squat with a hammer curl. Okay, a little bicep, a little quad dominant squat. We're gonna go normal stance here, dumbbells down at your side. Okay, and if you wanted to really spice it up, you could add a little yoga block to lift your heels up. We go in five. Two, one. Sit and curl, let's go. Nice, separate the move. Make sure you're not pulling by momentum. Squat, pause, curl, pause. Fifteen, come on. Three, two, one, and just like your chest press, the option here is gonna be add that pulse squat. Okay, squat and a half. So go down, down, curl, okay? Squat, pause halfway, all the way down, come up and curl. Let's go. Good job, strong back when you squat. 15. And just like your chest press, the option is gonna be there. Pause, one, two, up and curl, okay? Pausing at the bottom of your squat, I'm gonna add a glute band. Woo. Make it a little bit more spicy. Two, one, let's go. Work. Come on. Eight, seven. Last one, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna take some lighter dumbbells now. We're moving to a tricep and leg move, okay? Actually, I'm just gonna take one of the dumbbells that I just used. I'm gonna take it overhead. Tricep extension is your main focus, okay? So you're gonna go down and up, starting here. If you're able, add a lunge here, and then come up, okay? Let's go, three, two, one. Lunge and tricep extension. Focus on the, or the tricep. I'm doing a little knee tap on the ground. Working on my range of motion here for my legs. You can also modify this just a bit by going lunge, up, tricep, extension. Nice. 
10. Two, one, rest. Same thing goes, a little pulse in the bottom of the lunge, okay? So you're gonna take it down, one, two, and then up. Three, two, all right, let's get it. Dig the front heel down, dig the back toe in. Nice work, make sure your knee in front is staying out. Four, three, two, one, rest. And the last round is a pause lunge. Okay, go down, hold it while you do the extension, then stand up. Four. Two, one, let's go. Good, just an isometric contraction. Sit in that front heel. Do not press off your back foot. Do not be here. Straight leg in the back, okay? Then you'll start to feel like you need to really round your chest once you're seated in between. Woo, 15. Come on, triceps. We're about to give them a break, so work hard. Nine. Last one, three, two, one. Come on down to the floor for some sit-ups. <sighs> You're doing great. <sighs> okay, regular sit-ups at first. If you wanna add a dumbbell on top of that, feel free. We're gonna go in 15 seconds. <sighs> you doing okay? All right, challenge number one, just a regular sit-up. If you need to help yourself, take a dumbbell overhead and use it to pull yourself up a little bit. Let's go. If you're working on getting stronger at these, physically touching your chest. Before you go, breathe out, engage your core. Seven, three, two, one. Challenge option number one. Scoot your butt up to the edge of your mat. Heels are on the sliders. When you go down for your sit up, release your legs. When you come up for your sit up, curl them in. Okay, all the way to still in your glutes. Let's go, three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. And you might have seen me doing it a little bit on this round, but next round, challenge option number two. When you go out, keep your low back down and your upper back crunched, open, close, and then come back up. Okay, so kind of like a butterfly at the bottom of your sit-up. Ready? Let's go. Add a weight if you want to challenge that even more. If you're adding a weight to this one, keep it over your chest. Sit up, it goes over your head. Fifteen. 
15. Four, last one, come on, three, two, one, rest. Take that same dumbbell, you got seated twist, okay? Russian twist, seated twist. Big deep exhale, you're doing great, very proud of you. Ready? Let's tap it out here and go. Just a regular tap here. What you're doing is stretching. So your core is stretching here. I want you to activate this side to pull back over. Good job, you're right there. 20 seconds. Good job, three, two, one, and rest. Challenge option number one, dumbbell is at your chest, holding in a bow tie position. You're gonna lean back just a little bit more, tap your elbow. Ready, five seconds. If you're leaning back, make sure your hips don't stay here, they're crunched here. You're on the top of your glutes, let's go. Nice and controlled. Good, if you're feeling a little pressure here, make sure you're tucked here, all right? Core is flexed down here. Fifteen. Three, two, one, rest. Challenge option number two for the last round is feet off the ground. So if you felt pretty good on this last one and you can go low, feet off the ground, that's the most advanced option. If you need to stay up tall, feet off the ground, let's do that. Challenge yourself, step it up in some way. Let's go. Same thing goes, if your feet are off the ground and your hips start going here, exhale. Hips are back closer to your ribs. Fifteen. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, great job. Stay on the ground here, grab some water. You've got a 30 second breather and we're going chest fly with a single leg bridge hold. Round one, just your fly, okay? So you're gonna take your dumbbells right here, open and close, okay? Just the fly. We go in four. Three, two, one, 45 seconds of chest fly, and we're off. Keep that tempo, one, two, one, two. Just a moderate pace, nothing too fast. Good, anyone else feel their chest shaking a little bit? <laughs> 15 seconds. Stay around your ribs. Three, two, one. All right, next round. Come on up on the toes, okay? Glute bridge on your toes, so really tuck those glutes under. Push into the floor, tuck your glutes up and under. That's just a challenge option. Focus on the chest fly. Let's go. Make sure you're breathing. I just caught myself holding my breath, thinking about my form. 
breathe. You're gonna drop down, heels are on the floor. In 15 seconds, your challenge option is one foot flat bridge. Okay, I'm gonna switch you halfway through. So about 22 seconds per leg. Let's start with the right leg. Heel and toe on the ground. <laughs> Let's go. Dig the heel in, focus on your chest fly. I'll tell you when to switch. Three, two, one, switch legs and keep going. Fifteen seconds. Come on, glutes up, chest is strong. One more, four, three, two, one, and breathe. You've got thirty seconds rest. Grab water if you need it. I'm grabbing my light glute band and my lighter dumbbells. Back fly and glute kick back. <sighs> okay, I'm going for the light band. And I'm going for, personally, 10 pound dumbbells. Okay, round one, regular back fly, right here. All right, round two, we'll incorporate the band. Three, two, one, let's fly. Exhale. Good. What you want to focus on is not going up, shrugging here, but going back and down towards the middle of your back. Alternating. All right, so we're gonna kick back. One leg, same side fly. Other leg, same side fly. Okay? So let's start with right leg kick back and then right arm fly. Two, one, here we go. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before. Any sort of one leg kick back, one arm fly is totally fine. Just go kick, fly, kick, fly. What you want to make sure of is that your hips stay facing the floor. So if your kickback looks like this, or my hips open up towards you, you're using a little bit more quad than I want. Okay, hips stay facing the floor. Three. Two, great job, one. And your option now is to do that same side, okay? One arm and one leg, go back, come back down together, okay? Option number three, in three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Last ten. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. 30 seconds to rest. Back to a little bit heavier weights. Sumo squat and an open bicep curl, supinated curl. So we're wide here, palms are open. Down, up, 
curl. We go in 15. Alright, ready? Four, three, two. Let's go. Open your palms to me. at the bottom. <sighs> okay, so you're one, two, and up. You're doing great. Stay with me. Four, <sighs> three, two, one. Add the pause. Or the pulse, I'm sorry. Pulse, pulse, curl. Come on, stay moving. Ten. Three, two, great job, one, and rest. Your next option, squat, pause, and curl at the bottom. Okay, so you're going down, curl, then stand, and then unfold. Okay, accept the challenge, or rock with what you just did in round one or two. Three, two, one, let's get it. Good job, keep the knees out. Oh, good job, seven. Two, one, rest. All right, tricep kickbacks. I'm going back down to my lighter weights. So for me, that's 10 pounds. We're gonna start alternating. So kick back one, then two, round two. I'm gonna go ahead and add my light band before we get there. We're gonna add some abduction, okay? Five seconds, just a kick back. Three, two, hinge at the hips. Let's go, left and right. Is your back turned on? In the middle of your back, do you feel your work, your muscles working? Not in your upper back. Down, middle back. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, now keep doing the same thing with your kickbacks. All right, when you alternate, you're gonna go opposite leg, lift. Okay, so the dumbbell that's moving is on the same side as a leg that stays. Ready, let's go. And you're just driving your heel out to the side. Good job, 15 more seconds. Four, 
four, good job, come on. Three, two, one, ouch. Okay, last round, you're doing two per side. So you go one, two, switch, one, two. Keep in mind the heel is lifting, not the toe. Right out to the side. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. Great job, come on, we're gonna finish with the core finisher, so I need you to really be toned in here. your glute bands, grab your sweat towel if you want to lay down on it. Woo! Amazing work. All right. Big deep breath. Core finisher. We're going to start with jackknives. Okay. Arms over your chest. Bring one knee at a time up to both your elbows. Right here. Two, one, let's go. Good, now straighten your leg out. Up, straight, down, straight, down. Good, now upper back off the ground, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Same progression, two more rounds. The challenge here is every 15 seconds, I dial it up a little bit for you. If you're not ready for that next dial up, you stay at the beginning, okay? Good form, arms up, knee to elbows. Let's go. Good, crunch, exhale. Three seconds and we're going straight leg. Two, one, go up, straight. Upper back is still on the ground, you're crunching. Four seconds, upper back comes off the ground in three, two, one, go. Great job, go up, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more round of that, let's go. Breathe. Hands over your chest. We go in seven. Three, two, one, exhale. Good job. Straight leg, go up, down, up, down. Upper back off the floor in two, one, go. Eight. Exhale, you're doing great. Grab water. We're going over onto your forearms for a plank. Meet me there, four, three, two. Let's just go right into it, come on. Hold right here. Great job, bend your knee one at a time, tap the floor, pull your ribs up into your spine. Let's go. Butt stays low.
good. Hold your knees straight. Pulse up five, four, three. Good, you got three, two, one, rest. Good. 45 more seconds of plank. Two more rounds. Okay, just listen in. Five seconds, forearm plank. We're starting again with the knee pedal. Two, one, let's go. Tap, tap. Long body, heels and head are stretching away from each other. Good, now both knees tap. Go down, heels out. Knees, heels out. Knees, heels out. 20 seconds, good job, keep it up. Good, now tap it in right here. Tap, 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 tap. Eight, seven, six, shoulders right over your elbows. Three, two, one. And put your toes on your sliders. You knew it was coming, right? Toes on the sliders. Woo. All right, here we go. Two, one, forearm plank, and just start with the hold. Good. One leg at a time, keep my tempo. Tap, out, tap, out, tap, out, tap, out, tap, out, tap. Hold regular plank, take your hips up, slow on the way down, up, slow on the way down. 14, up, slow on the way down. Three, two, one, rest. <sighs> Flip it over onto your back. Whew. Great job. All right, hands under your tailbone. You've got leg drops, okay? You can either go one leg at a time or two, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds, you're almost there. We're gonna go 45 seconds, three rounds nonstop. I'll show you what to do. Three, two, one. Bend your legs, let's tap. Heels and up. Heels and up. Crunch up, shoulder blades off the floor, lower back on the ground. Straighten your left leg only, keep going. The arch of your foot is on your knee of the other leg. Good, switch legs, keep going. Two bent legs and we're back. Heel tap, crunch. Heel tap, crunch. If you're ready, release your hands from under your glutes. Tap here. Left leg only, go for it. Uh. Right leg only, let's go. Three, two, one, both legs are straight. If you can go down together, let's go. You can take your hands back to your glutes if you need to. Good, leave your left leg down, keep your right leg moving. Switching in three. Two, one, let's go. Three, two, both legs come up together. One, and rest. You have made it 
to your cool down. Stay right here, hands out to the side, knees drop over to the right side. Take your right arm, cross over to the left, touching your elbow. Good job. Arms back open, knees into the center, drop them to the other side. Don't forget, make sure before you head out, you're subscribed to the channel, you share it with your friends, and you comment below what your favorite exercise was today. Maybe it was a combo, but I wanna know. Cross your arm over here. All right, comment your favorite exercise. I wanna see these comments. Good job, open back up to the middle, roll it over to your stomach. All these things that I used today, water bottle, sweat towel, sweat, or uh, glute resistance bands, yoga mat, is not in currently in stock. The jump rope and the sliders, everything else aside from the yoga mat, on sale today at noon for the start of our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, lasts all week, okay? Come on up. <sighs> Cannot wait to see what you guys think of this workout. Whew, it was a lot of fun. I feel like we just got started. Exhale, bend your legs, roll it up nice and slow. Come up top here, hands on your tailbone. Also, the main portion of our website and the main portion of the apparel or the things that I mentioned here is our apparel. We've got biker shorts, seven inch inseam with the pockets. We've got the strappy sports bra that I'm wearing here today. Three different kinds of sports bra, two different shorts leggings, crop top t-shirts, so many things. I don't want to run you through a whole list of all of our inventory, but a huge sale happening. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate your support, how much it means to us to be able to clothe you in what we hope are items that make you feel confident, that help you show up to your workouts feeling strong like you are. And getting this happy, healthy, strong mission to you means so much to us. When you put these clothes on, I want you to remember what you stand for, what you're working for, okay? Take your arm overhead. Wearing this clothing means that you're working on your happiest, healthiest, strongest self. And we're all constantly on that journey. We're all constantly making changes to help ourselves feel like royalty. So whatever that is to you, if it's a happy change, mental health, focusing on the joy that you get out of life, the fulfillment that you feel in what you're doing, that's the happy. If you focus on healthy, what are you eating? How much water are you drinking? How are you working out? That's the healthy, the strong, making sure you're showing up in situations with confidence in your life or you're working on it. Making sure you're working with dumbbells or resistance that challenges you to push through adversity, to push through and show your resilience. That's happy, healthy, strong, okay? So thank you for representing all that I hope you become with this brand, Royal Change. I love you guys and I'm so proud of you for crushing this workout today. Before you head out today, definitely click out the link in the description and I'll see you back here for our next workout. Bye everyone. <laughs> Da 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 da